Greetings Internet, it's Dustin again with my home kit home and in this video we are looking at button automations and we're taking it a step beyond Apple's home app with simple automations for single press and double press and maybe even long press but here we'll be looking at assigning multiple actions to different buttons so for example if you have a single press well maybe that single press can toggle on and off some lights you can also do much much more using conditions so we will need a couple of things to carry out these automations first will need of course since it is an automation an apple home hub so this can be a home pod an apple tv or an ipad that's always on and always at home the second thing we'll need is some sort of home kit enable button or switch this can be the fabaro the button it can be the eve button or it can be the logitech pop buttons it can also be any HomeKit enabled switch. For example, I'm going to be using the Philips Hue tap switch for this walkthrough, but you can really use anything from Caseta or any of the Leviton switches, any switch that is HomeKit enabled. And finally, since we're not able to do this in Apple's home app, we'll need some sort of HomeKit enabled third party app. I recommend the E for HomeKit app and we will be using that today, but you can also use the Home 3 app, which is a brilliant app for doing more customized automations using HomeKit. You can also use the Hesperus app as well. So essentially our objective today is to use one of these buttons to turn on some lights, but to also turn off all of the lights in the house on a second single press but only if those lights are on. And we'll go through why I set this up as I did later in the video. Well, that about wraps it up for the intro. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. Here we are in the E for HomeKit app and we want to choose the Scenes tab from the bottom and then the Rules tab from the top. We'll scroll all the way down through our automations and tap Add Rule. Here is a brief explanation of what Eve calls the different parts of an automation, triggers, conditions, and actions. Here we'll want to add our trigger. The trigger that I'll be using is going to come in the form of an other value type of trigger since it's a switch that's not recognized in one of these categories. This switch can be found in my living room, so I'll track it down and we'll find our hue tap switch button one. We'll select that. And you'll notice here that we have an option for single press, double press, and long press. If you're using a switch such as the hue tap switch or any of the, the dimmer switch, or if you're using any other types of switches, you want to make sure that you choose single press only. Now we're on to the conditions part. So and this is the most important part of these types of automations because this is what's going to actually allow us to kind of toggle on and off of our switch. So what we essentially want to have happen is that if the lights are off, these two specific lights, and we want them to turn on, which will be our action. So we we'll want to go ahead and add the lights to the condition, the value conditions here, making sure that the power state is set to off. Now I didn't choose both of the lights in the dining room because they're in a home kit group, so both of them are affected. Also here in our actions, Eve does require us to create a scene for the actions. We can't just choose individual accessories. So I went ahead and created a scene prior to making this video called Mains On. So I'll add that as the action. We also need to name the rule. So I'll name this one All Systems Go. So now we need to add our second automation, which is what's going to happen if the lights are on. That means that our trigger is going to be exactly the same, so we'll choose the same switch, the same button, the same switch, and single press again. But this time we need to change our conditions, which we want to make sure that our conditions for the same lights are now set to on instead of off. 
and we'll make sure that we've got all of that together there. Again, it's the same lights, we just need to change their condition because if they're on, we want them to turn off, right? So we'll go ahead and make sure that that's there. That looks good, so does that. And we'll tap next and we'll see if we've got that good there, which everything does look good. Alright, all of those are there. We'll go in and make sure that our other uh, light is sufficiently programmed. Switch that over to on, that looks good there. And now we'll go choose our action. Now our action again is also going to be slightly different because we want a different action to happen. So what I did is I went ahead and set up another scene that will turn all the lights off and that one is actually called all lights off. We'll create a rule name here. We'll call this one abort mission just to be clever. And that really does it all for the automations. Let's see these things in action, shall we? So if you couldn't tell, these are some pretty powerful automations and they can be as complex or as simple as you would like them to be based upon the different conditions that we add to the automation. We can make it more complicated based on time of day, based on coming and going of different people in the home. We can really get as creative as we want to here. We are also not limited to just lights. We can use this to unlock a door, which I have here on the second button of my hue tap. We can also use it to turn on or off any smart plugs that we may have as well. So the options really are pretty limitless here. But I'd really like to know what automations you have set up for buttons and switches in your HomeKit setup. Let us know in the comments down below. Also below the video in the description box, you'll find links to all of the products and apps that we mentioned in today's video, as well as links to our social media at My HomeKit Home. You'll also find a link to the blog where you can read more about different things that you can do with HomeKit over at myhomekithome.com. As always, if you found the video useful, give us a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss any new videos as soon as they're released. Well, that about does it for this video. I do thank you for watching, and until next time, this has been Dustin with My Home Kit Home.